When I first started teaching um, other teachers about Active Inspire, the only way to put a video on a page was to download it from the internet and then um, basically import it or copy it to a flip chart page. There are several pros and cons that I can outline um, in the text in this assignment. But I want to show you another way to do this that in the Hopkins School District is a really viable option and a lot easier. Um, viable because our network is so reliable and strong. Um, because it does require that you have internet access when you're doing the presentation. And really what this is is embedding the video on the page. That means that the video does not live on this flip chart page. Um, it's just a window to the internet that uh, shows the video. So here is how you do that. Um, first of all, I have to have a video in mind, so I'm gonna bring my browser forward. And I have um, this video right here. And it is inside the Ant Colony, one of the TED Ed videos, they're all awesome. I click on the share button, I click on embed, and I'm gonna copy this code. Now, um, you can manipulate the video size if I want it a little bit bigger. And in this case, I do. I'm going to make it bigger by choosing a different size. And then I don't need suggested videos when the video um, finishes. And what you're going to do now is you're going to copy this code. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing just by double or triple clicking on it. And I'm going to use, you can either go up to the edit menu to copy, or your shortcut for me is Command C on a Mac. And then now I'm going to go back to my um, my flip chart and you go under the insert menu to link and you have some embedded HTML and you just paste that code right there and click OK. Alright, so um, if, uh, if I had made it a little bit bigger it would take up more of the screen. If you need to manipulate the size just slightly you take your select tool, click on it Oh, actually, I'm probably going to, it probably would be easier if I went into design mode. Oh, there we go. That makes it bigger. My, so I want that window bigger because I copied it at that particular big size. Okay. So I'm going to manipulate it on my screen. And if you did need to really manipulate and move around, you might want to go into design mode to do that. It would make it a little bit easier. But you notice that as I hover over, I get the finger to start the video. So that can be a little confusing. Um, if I have my select tool and I drag on top, then I get my bullets to manipulate and move the video. All right, I'm going to go back into presentation mode, and I'm going to turn up my volume here, and I'm going to click to start the video. All right, you get the idea. It's Think just another fast way to, to, get, um, to get a video onto a flip chart page.